Hello and welcome. Kadon Enterprises is proud to present The Power of Two. This product, as well as many other games and puzzles, can be found at www.gamepuzzles.com. The Power of Two is a two-player strategy game, where the goal of the game is to be the first player with all of their pieces on the board at the end of their turn. Released in 1999, The Power of Two was honored by Games Magazine by being included in their list of the best 100 new games of the year, as well as being included on their Holiday Buyer's Guide. The rulebook contains descriptions of three different games with diagrams and strategy hints, as well as three different jumping puzzles. This video will demonstrate how to play the primary game, The Power of Two. To distinguish between the rules and the demonstration commentary, the rules will appear in yellow text. So why is the game called The Power of Two? There are 64 intersections on the board, which is 8 to the power of 2. Each player has 16 playing pieces, which is 4 to the power of 2. It takes two pieces to open a doorway and bring a new piece onto the board. Pieces start with two power, but a piece will lose one power every turn the player uses that piece to open a doorway. Preparing to play. First, the players must decide which player will make the first move. Any method can be used. The other player gets the first choice of their playing color. The game's design ensures that there is no advantage or disadvantage to going first or second. The gameplay occurs on the lines and intersections laser inscribed on the wooden board. For a standard game, each player places four of their pieces on the intersections shown here and diagrammed in the rulebook. If the players agree to play an advanced game, they alternate placing their four pieces, one at a time, on non-adjacent intersections. Playing the Power of Two A player's turn consists of four steps performed in this specific order. Moving a piece, opening doorways, adding new pieces to the board, and draining power from one or more pieces. Let us examine each of these steps in greater detail as we show the rules of play during the light piece player's turn. Step 1. Moving a piece. A piece may move as far as the player wants along any straight line that connects to the piece's starting location. If there is another piece on the selected path, that piece blocks the moving piece. While moving a piece, the player may not change the piece's direction of travel. The move step ends when the player stops on any unoccupied intersection. Step 2. Creating Doorways If the moving piece stops at an intersection that shares a solid line with another piece of either color, a doorway is created. The two pieces on either side of the doorway are the doorposts. It is through this doorway that a new piece will be added to the board. Step 3. Adding new pieces to the board. To begin, the player places a new piece on the line between the two doorposts. When the door swings, it pushes the newly added piece to a nearby intersection. When the new piece is on a valid location, it and the two doorpost pieces will be on the corner points of a solid triangle. Step 4. Draining Power Opening doorways drains power from the pieces that were used as doorposts. Only the pieces belonging to the current player are impacted. To show that a piece has only one power remaining, the piece is turned felt side down. Should a piece be used as a doorpost a second time, the piece will return to its queue so it can recharge and be brought back into play on a future turn. Let's follow the game for three more turns to watch these rules in action and to introduce one final rule. It is now the dark piece player's turn. The player's first step is to move a piece. Next, we identify the doorways that were created. 
Notice that this doorway can swing in two directions. This gives the player two locations to place the new piece. The new piece is added to the board and moved to the selected intersection. Finally, the dark doorpost pieces lose one power. The turn now passes back to the light piece player. The player decides to use a piece that has already lost one power. While this is a valid move, it may not be the best move. When we identify the doorways, we see that two doorways have been created. For each new doorway created, one piece must be added to the board. The new pieces are now placed in the doorways. This new piece has two intersection options, but the player chose the intersection on the right. This new piece had two intersection options, but one of the locations is now blocked, so the player must use the other intersection. The final step is to drain power from the doorpost pieces. Let's highlight the doorways again. This light piece was part of the doorway, so it loses one power and is flipped felt side down. This dark piece was also part of the doorway, but it is not affected. A player will never impact the power level of the other player's pieces. This light piece is the piece that moved and opened the two doorways. Since it is losing its second power, it is removed from the board and placed felt side up in the queue of available pieces. It can be brought back onto the board in a future turn. For our final demonstration move, we return to the dark piece player. The player decides to move this piece to this intersection. Now we identify the doorways. We see that three doorways have been opened. But if we look at the middle doorway, we see that both of the intersections are occupied, so there is no place to put the new piece. It is important to remember that for every doorway opened, a new piece must be added to the board. If a doorway is created with no open intersections for a new piece, the piece moved must return to its starting location and the player is allowed to start their turn over. It is still the dark piece player's turn. Once again, they begin by moving a piece. The player could have moved the piece used earlier, but each possible move only opens one doorway. By moving a different piece, more doorways will be opened. Now we identify the doorways and find that this move has opened two doorways. The new pieces are placed on the doorways, then move to their final position. Finally, one power is drained from the player's pieces that were used as doorposts. Remember, pieces belonging to the other player are not affected. We have covered and demonstrated all the rules, so let's recap. Each player's turn consists of four steps performed in a specific sequence. First, a player moves a piece. Next, we determine if one or more doorways were created and identify them. Third, if doorways are created, new pieces are then added to the board. And last, power is drained from the current player's doorpost pieces. When moving a piece, the piece may move any distance along a single straight line, but may not change direction while it is moving. Any other piece on the line of travel blocks the moving piece. The piece may stop at any intersection on its travel path. When identifying doorways, a doorway is created when the piece moved is connected to another piece by an unbroken line. When adding new pieces, you must add one new piece to the board for every doorway created. If all of the intersections of a doorway are blocked, the piece that was moved is returned to its starting location. Any pieces added this turn are removed from the board, and the player starts their turn over. When draining power from pieces, only the current player's pieces are affected. A piece with the felt side up, showing that it has two power remaining, loses one power and is turned felt side down. If a piece with the felt side down is used to open one or more doorways, 
the one remaining power of the piece is used. The piece is removed from the board and is placed felt side up in the queue of available pieces for use on a future turn. Thank you for watching. For more information and to purchase this and other games and puzzles, please visit www.gamepuzzles.com.